most of the time, what a lot of people end up doing is they either let the wound stay open and just never fully heal, and it's like trauma, and it carries on to other relationships that you have with other people, and that's why you either pick the people that are going to hurt you like that, or, to, and this is a rare take, and I just thought of it now, is, what's up guys, it's Brendan here, The Lost Tribe. Those of you who don't know, The Lost Tribe is a channel to help people better themselves and know the truth about themselves and know the truth about the world. And uh, usually you see me walking this direction when I'm walking here to Lake Welsh. But I'm walking back. I decided to go on a nice quiet hike by myself before I uh, went into the nitty gritty of today. It is a bit windy if you could hear it, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day. But the nitty gritty, sorry, <laughs> widow makers, you would be amazed how many uh, branches I've seen come down. Just, just naturally, even without wind, they just bang bang. Not a good one. But anyways, the nitty gritty of today is forgiveness and I wanted to talk about forgiveness because the past couple episodes I talked about taking responsibility for your actions and uh, not making excuses however there are certain times and I am not blind to it that things are genuinely other people's fault and I have been hurt really bad by people that I have absolutely trusted and it's horrible and it's one it's not good to sit in it just that hurt because it, as anyone who's ever been in a relationship and been through a bad heartbreak you feel it it's like a it's like a it's like a, <laughs> a black hole in your chest extra heavy extra dark and it just sucks all the light out of you but it's the same thing with hurt in non-romantic ways by the way, if you enjoy the content, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification to get the algorithm to deliver this to you on a gold platter and more content like this. Leave a comment. I will get back to you. Maybe not right away, but I will definitely try my best to get back to you. I have enough subscribers at this point where like it's uh, still pretty easy. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stick around for the rest of the feature presentation. Yeah, you don't want to stay in that hurt, obviously. And most of the time, what a lot of people end up doing is they either let the wound stay open and just never fully heal. And it's like trauma, and it carries on to other relationships that you have with other people. And that's why you either pick the people that are going to hurt you like that, or, to, and this is a rare take, and I just thought of it now, is you turn people who wouldn't hurt you like that into people who would. Like, uh, just for an example on uh, relationships, if you have trauma with cheating, and you keep on accusing someone who was never a cheater of cheating or, like, doing that, you're going to push them to a breaking point where they probably will eventually cheat, or they're just going to leave your ass. They, they, most likely, either, either one of the two or you're just gonna be in a very unhappy relationship. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And uh, yeah, so the trauma's not good to have. Not at all. We're gonna sit down here. The trauma's not good to have. And you do wanna forgive people, like I said, is forgiveness. But it's not usually for them, it's for yourself. And most people have probably heard this at some point in their life. Whoops. That the forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you. And yes, you I mean you do wanna forgive people because of the fact that, you know, no one's perfect. People make mistakes. And things happen. But it is for yourself to heal that hole in your heart, in your chest, in your soul. 
because that darkness will taint every single part of your being if you don't heal it and it keeps you from moving forward it makes you afraid it's uh I guess even if you look in like chakras, it's like, w w there's one of them that gets blocked. I think it maybe might be the sacral. Not sure, you're gonna have, you don't quote me on that, but it causes fear. You're afraid to move forward. And I mean, I've, I've dealt with it a lot. I've, I've been in like two main relationships in my life romantically and uh, both times I got like hurt pretty bad because there were the two times that I actually opened myself up to it and they ended poorly but for the longest for the longest I closed myself off forever like for the longest time and didn't allow myself to open back up and I let the fear of that happening again keep me from meeting people that Honestly, would have been really great for me. Sorry. Unless a live branch is coming down, I'm probably not gonna get hit. I don't see any dead branches up there, but um, yeah, I kept myself from meeting a lot of great people or connecting with them, I should say, because I've met plenty of great people, but wasn't able to connect with them, even on certain non-romantic levels, like just people that just literally screwed me over but forgive forgive them yes never forget that's the important part especially if you plan on keeping someone in your life um i mean for me it's like you get you get two strikes it's like uh fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me um taking responsibility for the actions it's all i'll give i'll give people a couple chances but ultimately, it's uh, you don't you don't want to keep that around because if someone does it once, they're likely to do it again unless unless they they really do change. But and people can change, but people don't change. It's it's uh, something you have to do on a case by case basis. But anyways, back to the original subject because I am rambling. Um, forgive them, don't forget. Forgive forgive them for yourself to heal yourself so you can move forward. And you're not stained with that trauma and sitting there just basking in the hurt, even if you're not consciously aware of it. It's like unconsciously there because that hole's still there. That cut's still there. Your body still feels it or your mind still feels it. And you don't want to have to sit in that because you can't move forward freely and openly in any aspect of life unless you have forgiveness and get over the hurt. But like I said, and I'll, I will say it every single time, forgive but don't forget. That is like honestly the main key. Be an elephant. Never forget what people have done to you. And if you see the signs of them about to do it again, and that's why the forgiveness is there. But And like I said, people can change. But if you see the signs of it coming again, trust your gut. Trust your instinct. Your heart knows. Don't let people, no matter what they say, but definitely forgive them. Because you don't want to hold on to hate. Holding on to hatred is how most of the atroc atrocities in the world happen. Sadly. It's always good to sometimes be your own psychoanalyst. And, I mean, you have to have a pretty unbiased way of looking at things to be that way. Because that's why other people go to other psychologists or psychiatrists. Because they aren't biased because they're not you they're not in the situation they're an outside person and I've been this for a lot of people and unfortunately I've had to do it for myself a lot because I've only had myself to do it for and I just got that unbiased opinion just to sit back third person point of view think of all the obstacles or all the all the angles like I was talking about in one of my previous videos but Sometimes it's good to do that. Sit back, be your own psychologist. Especially if, if you have trauma, mainly. Like, and if, if you think you might have trauma that's suppressed and just look through everything in your life and 
see if there's certain things that you look back on that still make you cringe and try to heal those because there, there might be something that you find in the past that you realized that you haven't forgiven someone or yourself and you still hold on to that hurt and it's going to hurt bringing it back up though, but that's the point you get through that pain you accept the pain you accept the pain you accept that it happened because if you if you don't forgive yourself and get over it and move beyond it you will always be basking in that pain it, it reminds me of just the positive thinking because when people think negatively about like th the future in general and they're nervous they're living through the pain of a potentiality not even a definite like just something happening it's uh you're living through the pain of a potentiality over and over and over again until it happens like you're putting yourself through constant mental anguish and it honestly even translates into physical a lot of times why so people people with anxiety end up having like heart problems and all that stuff because they uh the mental anguish turns into a physical malady and it's the same thing with any trauma or anything that has happened in your past if you, and that's why it's important to figure figure forgive yourself sorry my brain is going faster than my mouth today anyways without running the risk of rambling for minutes on end and just repeating myself I'm gonna cut it off here once again my name is Brendan this is the Lost Tribe if you've subscribed already or today welcome to the tribe first off um, and new or continuous members welcome back it's always good to see you if you uh, enjoyed the content please smash that like button um, subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification button so you get more content like this by me so it doesn't get buried leave a comment I would actually really enjoy it if you have any just if, if you want to say something great if you like this style of me uh, presenting to you guys that's awesome too uh, if you don't please leave a comment on that too I'm always looking to perfect my process and make it better for you guys because like I'm here to put out a message essentially and if I put out a message that no one wants to listen to because it's boring then what what use am I being you know what I mean so I can make it any other way I could do more inside things too I, I end up I'm, I'm gonna do more inside things but I'm rambling now so yeah leave a comment about whatever I'll get back to you and on that note it's a beautiful day even though it's cloudy <laughs>